Dan twerken. Kijk hem twerken tegen de deur, dames en heren. Twerking mofo. <middels> Maak ik zoveel verkeerde keuzes of zo? Of... You want to talk? Uh-uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What did Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. I swear. Sorry. I really took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, then that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Scissors in my pack. And take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. <laughs> and then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. <laughs> Shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean, when we get to Savannah. You got a few ideas. <laughs> we'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past. Oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then. Eh, suppose. <laughs> I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. <laughs> Be safe up here. You betcha. Look, come on. Still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Can. It's the best plan. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Yeah, I snap Kenny well. Gaat hij Ben? Hey Ben. Hey. Ik moet wel even zeggen, um, ik had nooit verwacht dat Ben zou leven. Ik had hem als een van de eerste dood verwacht. Well, saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. 
That's just the way it is. There aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. <laughs> you know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. See you. Yeah. Hij zou twerken. Kijk hem twerken tegen de deur, dames en heren. Twerking mofo. Oh, daar is wel nog wat te drinken. A bottle of whiskey. Dat vond die daklozen zo leuk. It's a fifth of whiskey. Look at bloodstain. Oh, bah. Maar ja, we kunnen kijken. Dan gaan we even kijken. Nou, bloed in de hoek. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Oké, okay, daar schoten we niks mee op. Ik vind wel lief dat Clementine heeft die walkie-talkie naast zich. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some. Uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well. I'm gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. Then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. I okay. desire. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Steady now. Almost got him. Okay, a little higher. To the right. Aim lower. Boom! I got it. Excellent. Good shot. That's how we roll. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. A little bit lower. Boom! There you go. Nice. See how makkelijk it is, Clementine. Ga gewoon even die derde. Schiet een keer mis en dan zeg ik je zo hoe ik me wel moet. I did it. Yeah, you did. Jesus. Good job. I was holding my breath and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. So do we that here? Walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. My hands hurt and my ears have noise in them. Like. <laughs> You'll get used to it. I'll leave. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? 
We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. <laughs> I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. Here you go. Me too. Got the dog from the heart, dude. Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. <laughs> Are you saying it smells? <laughs> because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't move. Oh, I find so zielig. I will at least Clementine not knippen. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. Mm. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. Yeah, I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, it look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Morgen om 2 uur de nieuwe Walking Dead aflevering. Klik hier in beeld om terug te gaan naar de vorige aflevering. Of klik hier om door te gaan naar de volgende aflevering. Wil je op de hoogte blijven van alle Walking Dead afleveringen van Bardo? Abonneer dan hier beneden om op de hoogte te blijven met Banjo Town. Nogmaals, abonneer! Ja, leuk.